So there's been a lot of talk lately about AI and the things that it can do. And you've seen some of these things on social media and it can do a lot of cool stuff. And a lot of people are thinking about what does it mean for the future of print on demand. In this video, I wanted to show one of the AI apps. This one is in Canva text to image and it does some pretty amazing things, but can it make t-shirt designs? In this video, I'm gonna put it to the test and find out. Let's go. Thanks for joining me on this video. It's Juno with Detour Shirts. In this video, I wanted to show you the app in Canva, the AI app, text to image. It's pretty cool. You type in a, a prompt and it will display an image. It's gonna use AI and try and figure out what you typed and then create an image. If you haven't seen it before, I'm gonna show you where to find it on Canva. And then we're gonna test out to see if it can actually make t-shirt designs. Can someone go in there, use it as a, as a tool and create t-shirt designs with it without doing anything else? I'm gonna do something really broad first, like uh, make a funny t-shirt design, then something a little more specific, like make me a St. Patrick's design. And then I'm gonna do something even more specific, like make make a design that says 100 days of school and see if that works. So we're gonna try all three from very broad to very specific and see what kinds of results we get with the AI. Is it something that we should be worried about with print on demand? Is it something that someone can use uh, for print on demand to make a lot of design just by typing in some stuff? So let's get into Canva right now and I'll show you where it is. All right, so here we are on Canva. I'm on the pro account. I believe you may need a protocol, I'm not sure, but this is in their apps. So let's go create a design and let's do custom size and just start like we're making a, a design here. So when we come in here on here, you'll see I already have it here text to image, but if you don't have it on this dashboard kind of thing on the side, you go to apps and scroll down and you'll see it right there. Create something new text to image and you can click on it. So it's gonna show you like some ideas to get you started. Um, and you can type on, you can press on one of these and we can see how it does it. So if you can't think of one, the nice thing about this is if you can't think of one or if you want something like super unique, I think it's good for that because you can see here what it's displaying is a panda riding a bike through a city with depth of field. So we're kind of mashing up different concepts and we can see what this does. Uh, I'll click on it, but you can also choose your style. First one is surprise me. It does all the different styles. Uh, these are the styles that it does. It does photo style, uh, drawing style, 3D style, painting style, pattern style, and just concept art. So I like to do the like surprise me to get all of it in there. But if you want to pick a certain one, you can. So let's see how it works. I'm just going to click on this and it'll, it'll kind of bring it up. So Let's do that. You see it, it put it in here. If you wanna change it and you say instead of panda, so you kinda of trick it. Let's say uh, a dog, right? Dog riding a bike through a city with depth of field. All right, so let's see that. Generate it. And it's gonna take a while to generate, so I may fast forward this video, uh, but you can see it's gonna do one here and two and three and four. So it's gonna give you four ideas and I'll come back when all four are done. All right, so I'm back. Pretty amazing what it does. So we can click on these and it will put it on the artboard. So here's the first one, a dog riding a bike with depth of field. You can see stuff in the back and the city, right? Uh, this is not a full dog on a bike, so I don't know. And, and you can kind of see it's kind of wonky like the tire came off here. Uh, this one is a dog, kind of a bike, but we don't see him riding the bike. Um, but it is in the city and there's depth of field. So it gets a few of them right. Uh, this one's probably the best one. It is a dog on a bike in the city and the background. So that one's pretty cool. And this one, maybe this one's the best one actually. Uh, you can see the dog in the front on the bike. So kind of cool. So you can see it does stuff like that, photorealistic stuff. And for t-shirts, maybe, you know, it would have to be in a square or whatever, but um, I don't know if anybody's actually looking for a dog on a bike maybe for a poster might be cool. So let's try something really specific or broad first and then we'll get to specific. So let's start again. And then let's just say, make me a funny t-shirt design. So um, let's see, a funny t-shirt design for moms. Let's do that. Let's see what it does. 
I'm not exactly sure what it's gonna do. I'm gonna do surprise me too, because I don't think we need a drawing or 3D or painting or pattern. So um, yeah, let's just do surprise me and see what it does. So again, it's gonna click through and think about it. I'll come back to show you so you don't have to wait um, and see what, what's gonna happen, but I'll come back and show you what it does. Okay, I'm back and text to image Canva did it again. So let's show you what the results are. So clicking on here, you can see it is a mom t-shirt, but it's, I don't know if that's funny, but it is on a t-shirt. I, I don't really know what this is. It's probably a, a woman dress. I'm not sure if that's a bowling ball or some kind of fruit or something. Uh, let's click on this one. So this one's kind of cool, but it's a full t-shirt. It's not a t-shirt design, but it's a mom on a t-shirt. So it's kind of taking those words and, and putting it together. Uh, this one says Mo Mom, uh, and then has some designs here. I don't know what happened to the legs or what this is here. I guess it's kind of funny. They're laughing. That's funny looking. And then this one right here, it says two mers and it has a mom with something and it is a design on a t-shirt. Uh, but in order to take that, you'd, you'd have to like um, do this, right? And you can, whoops, you can crop it like this, right? and see if that works. But again, the, those words, I, I don't even know what it means, uh, tumor or whatever. So I think uh, we could do a better job just by using the graphics on Canva. So first test, uh, very broad, a funny t-shirt design for mom. I don't think, I don't think it did that well. Um, so let's do something a little more specific. Let's start again and let's do a, um, St. Patrick's Day t-shirt, right? That's coming up. Design. So let's do that. A St. Patrick's Day t-shirt design. Let's see what Canva text to image does. I'm gonna hit generate image again and see by putting it just a little bit more specific now. Uh, let's say you wanna do a ton of uh, St. Patrick's Day t-shirt. Can you use this to generate hundreds and thousands of St. Patrick's Day t-shirts. So let's see what comes up. I'll come back to show you once this is loaded. So we're back and let's take a look at this. I think photo is the way to go because some of these aren't right, but take a look at this. It's kind of a neat design, but it doesn't say anything. And I'm not sure this shamrock kind of looks weird. Let me zoom in. Yeah, I'm not really sure what these things are. It almost looks Egyptian or, or something like that instead of St. Patrick's Day. Uh, let's do this one. This one's kind of cool, but it looks really scary. Uh, this St. Patrick's Day and no words and kind of a weird t-shirt design. And then these two are very like pixelated and stuff. So very stylized. We can hardly see the t-shirt. So I'm not sure what that is. So again, I'm not very worried about at least Canva text to image to create St. Patrick's Day design for someone to come in here and say, I want a hundred St. Patrick's Day designs. You can see none of these, at least these four, I'm not worried about. I don't think they would get sales um, when put on Amazon or Redbubble or anything like that. So let's try even more specific. Let's give it some words now. So let's start again. Uh, a t-shirt design that says 100 days of school. Okay, for the 100 days of school. And let's see, I think photo's the way to go just so we make sure that it's photo realistic instead of the drawing. All right, um, let's see what happens. So we're gonna let it go and again, more specific. In this case, you would have to know what the shirt would say if it works um, to get these results. So let's see what kinds of results happen and I'll come back and show you. So we're back and I think it's doing a little bit better except that it doesn't get text right uh, for some reason. This is a cool design if it actually said 100 days of school, but you can see it's taking the letters from there and there is 100 and the A uh, it's kind of mixing it together. There's school and some of the letters for, for school, but uh, kind of a weird thing. And I'm not sure what that background is. So uh, kind of interesting. I don't think anybody would buy this t-shirt for 100 days of school. Uh, there's this, 100 A as schools. So 
Not sure what's happening there, but it is a t-shirt design and you could easily do this um, in Canva without the text to image. So I think this is a bust too. Let's see here. It's got rectangles. So maybe for a design idea, but I think we can get better design ideas somewhere else. But this one is showing a, a t-shirt design in rectangles, but again, can't read it. And this one, it says, day dos shows those. It's funny, it doesn't make any sense, but um, it is a t-shirt design. So as far as text to image for t-shirt designs, I don't think they're there yet. It may uh, happen, it may get better as, cause this is pretty new, but it may get better in the future. But right now, I don't think there's anything to worry about for text to image for someone to come in here and make hundreds of thousands of designs that will sell on print on demand. What's better for this, if you are on Canva, I would suggest going to elements and then type in here a t-shirt design. So if we did St. Patrick's Day t-shirt design, instead of that now, let's look at this. You can see some designs here, designs here. And if we go to design here with template and type it in, uh, St. Patrick's Day t-shirt again. Look at that. Now that is a lot better. You can use these for t-shirt designs. This is definitely uh, more of a t-shirt design. You can take out this background and it's editable. One, one thing uh, that's nice about this is it's totally editable and you can do um, take away the background. Whereas the text to Canva, you can't take away the background very easy. It's one big photo kind of thing. So if you want to use some of these things, it's really cool. You can see this born lucky would be good and so on. Uh, replace current image. Yeah. Look at all these icons. This is a cool t-shirt design. So if you want to use Canva for t-shirt designs and want to type in something and then find something, use design right here, templates. So if you want to do a t-shirt design using Canva, I would not use the AI tool yet. Uh, that may work better in the future. Uh, the AI tool for me is better for mashup and concept and ideas and maybe posters and things that you cannot find on Canva where Canva has a ton of stuff anyway. But if you're looking for like mixing up a, a, a dog and a, a, on a boat in, in the river or on the mountain, you know, those kinds of things, then it's great for that kind of stuff. But uh, as far as t-shirt designs, you can see here, uh, really cool. Let's see if they actually have 100 days of school. Let's see, 100 days of school t-shirt. Uh, no, it does not have that. At least I don't see one. But of course you could make one really easy with Canva and type in 100 under elements. Let's see, 100 days graphic. Yeah, so look at that, 100 days of school here, and so on, you just have to move some stuff around. So just to recap, Canva is great for doing t-shirt designs, but text to image on Canva, not so good for doing t-shirt designs. It's great for doing other stuff, for doing posters, for doing mashups, for doing art styles and things like that. It's amazing to do those kinds of things. If you wanna do a poster that nobody else has, uh, you may want to do that. It's kind of small. I think you can scale it up, but uh, haven't used it for posters yet. But as far as t-shirt designs, not that Canva, go to the design part of Canva and you can see the templates that they have already there or just use some of the graphics and stuff and make your own t-shirts on Canva. If you know of another AI thing that I should be testing for t-shirt designs, let me know that in the comments. I'd love to test some other AI stuff. I know there's Lenza. I know there's some other stuff out there. If there is one that you think would make a t-shirt design by just typing in the text, I want to know about it. I want to test it. I want to show it to people to see if it works. Uh, if you want to see other designs on Canva and how to use Canva for that, click on this video right here. I'll go over a t-shirt design that I made on Canva and you can follow along for a tutorial. Thanks again for watching and as always, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one.